Good morning, viewers of Litchfield Storytellers YouTube channel. Matt Haywood here, and I'm on one of my dawn walks. As those of you who follow me on Instagram uh, will know, the thing that I'm accustomed to making. If you want to see my dawn walks, I'm at Matt dot Hayward dot seven um, so but this is a storytelling channel um, so I've got another little anecdote for you uh, now this anecdote I would like to dedicate to my family wherever they may be uh, Huntoff, Carnforth, Manchester, Runcorn Port Sunlight, Buxton, Mansfield, Litchfield, East Grinstead, Manchester, have I said that? Sydenham, Kings Heath, wherever you are, here's one for you. And it's for you simply because it concerns a character that you, we all, knew so well. However, I'm obviously not going to use his full name because of confidentiality and GDPR. So, this concerns, it comes from, it's set in Runcorn this one, many, many, many years ago, and it concerns a neighbour of ours called Reg. And one day, probably around about this time of the year, spring um, Reg started to let it be known that he was going to get a greenhouse build a greenhouse and this was quite the talk of the uh, the community really because uh, greenhouses were quite salubrious in those days they were the sort of things that perhaps only big estates would have so to have your own greenhouse was quite a quite a step up really. Not like today where you can get these flat plat greenhouses sent over from China for a couple of bob. No, so um Reg let it be known that he was getting this greenhouse built. But the talk of this greenhouse went on for quite a few weeks and the anticipation was unbelievable and then finally the Saturday morning about seven o'clock arrived and there was a whole party of people at Reggie's house because this greenhouse was going to be built amazing and not only that but it it was almost like a festival it was like um, a carnival it brought people out of the houses to come and watch to come and help and all sorts and as the morning went on, this greenhouse began to be erected and um, people brought out tea and biscuits and some of us just sat there and watched it being built and slowly but surely as the day went on, this greenhouse took shape and by the early evening, it was finished and it was a sight to behold. And they'd already got the potting plants and the trestle tables and they all came in and they put these potting plants and trestle tables in there. It was fabulous. It really was fabulous. I mean, just got to show you what sort of entertainment we didn't have in those days that we were prepared to be so excited about the erection of a greenhouse. Anyway, the next day, Reg got up early and he suddenly decided that well, he didn't suddenly decide. He got up and he noticed that in the morning sun, the conquer tree, it's that horse chestnut tree, the conquer tree cast a shadow over his greenhouse. So Reg, being Reg, decided that, no, that wasn't good enough. So he went to his cellar to get his buzz saw, chainsaw, and he proceeded to saw down this horse chestnut tree. And I bet those of you who know a little bit about stories can guess what happened next. 
Yes, absolutely. He buzzed through the horse chestnut tree and the horse chestnut tree fell as straight as a die right through the brand new greenhouse. So there you go guys, another true anecdote. Big love, see you down the road. Paul, is the badge right? Excellent. <laughs>